Hi, uh, so th this is a very short video for uh, about the bottom navigation in shift UI. So how we can create a bottom navigation with and without navigation for separate item in a shift UI. Okay, so uh, we can uh, bottom navigation is like we can have a bottom and top both sides. So this is like tab view. We have a tab view in uh, uh, shift UI. So in the tab view, we have to create an item like we have to put an item. We have to create like tab dot item so if we have any v stack okay so in the v stack we have item called tab item tab style tab view style okay so these things so in the tab item we can give the item st styles like uh, if you want to give item images or if you want to give text means you can give like image okay image and i'm going to system name okay system name is okay so house dot fill so this will be like house image text okay text this will be home okay so this is what uh, it is like uh, uh, one tab okay so if you want to give another tab means it's what happened okay okay now it is correct so this is one tab so we can create like few tabs two three okay i just created three tabs so three tabs three are not uh, no need of three same names i'll just change this to magnificent glass and i'll just change this to person okay person okay so person so this will be profile this will be search okay so i think you can see the preview over here so okay preview over here so this is the preview of our bottom navigation so if we have um background background so okay uh, background dot blue okay so this background is blue this background is gray this background is green okay so i just save it so each screen will have different different background right now so we have to uh, give any frame or we'll just add one text inside that okay text so the text will be you home view dot not font okay okay i'll just add font dot large title dot for foreground that is the foreground color okay foreground color dot green okay i'll just remove this background color instead of this background color i'll just this blue okay so now it is good so the same thing for repeatedly everywhere okay okay great a home view search view this one is profile okay so profile will give some other nice color search will give some other clear color okay okay so this is how uh, this is actually i'll just run and show you so you can see the bottom navigation we can click bottom navigation it will change the screens okay so i did i have connected my mobile phone once it is run will i'll just show you the i'll attach the screenshot or images over here okay so, so then uh, we have we can uh, see we can specify separate navigations also for each tabs okay not like this we can attach a specific so we can do a navigation with navi with separate navigation view navigation view okay
navigation view okay so this one this tab should be come outside the navigation okay only this this one will have and in this view we can add the navigation title navigation title as home view okay so you can see this home view right now so this item will have a separate navigation view and this title will show up in the navigation bar okay so this is for navigation so for swiping up for uh, swipe action so for those things we have to handle these things differently so if you can see here right we have a navigation so this navigation for only for you can handle multiple navigation multiple screen navigation in the single uh, tab bar okay so tab bar won't change so you, you can have multiple screen navigation for this tab bar so that's what you can handle with navigation view so we can we will just check with how we can swipe actions how how we can do the swipe actions in bottom navigation okay so for those things we have to do with us so the, we have a vstack inside vstack we have a tab right so in the tab uh, okay so we have the navigations so let's get rid of this not get rid of the navigations okay so tag okay tag is equal to zero so we need to add one state okay one state private where tab selected tab is equal to zero okay selected tab is equal to zero so this selected tab we need to give here okay selection selection okay in the selection we need to give this selected tab okay whenever the selected tab change we need to show it over here so this is tab z tag zero this is tag one this is tag two okay so we have three tags okay so once it is done what we need to do we have to this is tab only right okay in the tab we have to add view style okay tab view style so tab view style should be page tab view style okay page tab view style open and close index dispatch mode so in this mode dot number okay so we added a tab okay this is fine so after this what we have to do what we done over here right so we have to create a specific with create another one h tag with the buttons and we have to overlap that okay so now because now it is tag but this is not showing right so you, we can't see anything over here okay so in that place we have to create with the same thing we have to create one more okay so the thing is uh, i'll create h tag okay inside h tag i'll have one button okay in the button we have action and okay action label okay in the label we are going to create v stack okay in the v stack i'm going to add these two items house dot fill and this one okay house dot fill and this one this action will be selected tab where is that selected tab sorry ah, just a spelling mistake instead of p i put d so selected tab should be zero okay i just copied and paste it again and paste it again and i have to remove these two things and paste it here and i have to copy and paste it here okay so this one and zero one two okay so this would be like so you can see it over here it will be it is not arranged in proper way it is be it is having a space okay so it is uh, collapsed it needs to be in a space right so we have to add spacer 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 one spacer two spacer three spacer four okay so now you can see it will be it will arrange in a equal dif distance okay so this is how it will look so now you can swipe based on that okay so after this done we'll just add one padding 
and background color color okay color dot gray system gray okay system gray okay that is dark gray so i will just add a light gray so now you can see the things detailing okay so this is good right now so let's run and see it is how it is working properly we can swipe it or not okay uh, the application runs so we have a navigation uh, separate navigation bar over here okay so that's why the home page is not visible so otherwise you can swipe it you can see the search and if you can swipe it you can see the profile so the swipe action is working as well as the click action also working okay so based on the click action you can change the selection items color and things also so you can change it like so now it is dark and blue right so if you want to change it like you can do it over here itself so like the selected tab is equal to zero so if, if you want to do like this uh, so you can do it like this so only the selected thing will have selected tab is equal to zero means we'll show this okay so it's so the same thing for here okay so instead of zero it should be one okay same thing for here instead of the, this one and instead of this okay okay so this is what it will be so what it will do happen now the selected tab only will show the text in the bottom so the swipe will automatically normally work and this will also work okay so i think uh, you guys got to understand how to swipe the bottom navigation and how we can create a bottom navigation in shift ui okay and you can do custom screen designs and custom designs everything lot of designs so we'll see the future uh, with how we can do the attractive uh, bottom navigations in shift way okay thank you